Hey, many fish. It's the 16th of February, 2018. And uh, this this whole name, to Jesus to Jacob, has not left me since last night. I woke up with it on my mind. There, There's a double-edged sword going on here, so to speak. The Holy Spirit is showing us absolutely what's going on here, but there's also a, a, a double message here. This is what I'm getting, okay? For it to just change, you know, just all on its own from Did Jesus Cruise to uh, Jacob Cruise is not an accident, okay? You couldn't get a more contrasting set of, of names, biblically speaking, I mean... When you think about it right so why would that happen well started to look at the name yesterday and what I came up with was the Nicholas which in this definition is a victory of the people okay victory of the people and you know did Jesus just means of Jesus I mean that's just you know it's that simple of Jesus even Wikipedia can tell us that it's also a surname that was it's pretty interesting history behind that but that's what it means so we got victory of the people of jesus and cruise is cross crucifix that's what it means roman instrument of torture is symbolic of christ who was nailed to a cross left to die that's Cruz. So if we read out the entirety of the name in this context, we get a victory of the people of Christ, of Jesus, at the cross. Okay? However, <laughs> this is how my mind works. I know that there was something else here that we're, we're supposed to be shown, and it is the opposite of that wonderful message to believers, and that is Nicholas. Who is Nicholas? Well... I was led to this. Revelation 2 6, when he's talking to the church of Ephesus. Okay? And he's letting them know, you know, remember where thou have fallen and repent. But they know, at least they know, they hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate, straight from Christ. Who are the Nicolaitans? Well, they are adherent of Nicholas. Nicolaitine. Nicolaitan. Two occurrences that comes from victorious over the people. A heretic. Nicholas. Okay? And there were followers of Nicholas in those days. And that's who Jesus was talking about. And this brings us back to Jacob in Israel. Which happens to be the sheriff's name in this town where this shooting took place. Oddly enough. But to wrap up with the Nicolaitans, who and what are they? Followers of Nicholas. Very interesting study here, and I think this, this organization here did a nice job putting this together. Of course, I'll link it, but Nicolaitan means a follower of Nicholas. It comes from two Greek words, Nikos and Leos. Nikos means conqueror or destroyer, and Leos means people. The original Nicholas was a conqueror or destroyer of the people. Some people believe that the original Nicholas was Nimrod, the original arch-rebel, who conquered the people and founded a man-made civilization within two centuries after the Flood. And you need to read all this because my understanding of it, it matches right up with Scripture, and it's fascinating about the Nicolaitans. So, if we're looking at it from the flip edge of the sword, we're talking about a conqueror and a destroyer of the people, okay, over Jacob, because that's what his name is on the flip side, from, from Jesus to Jacob. So it's a conqueror over the people of Jacob because of the cross, or in spite of the cross, or you know what I'm saying? Because they have not accepted Jesus as the Messiah. And so, we are going to see Jacob's trouble. That's the, the message that I'm getting, is we are at the cusp, at the doorstep of Jacob's trouble, and a whole slew of things about to occur.
probably in a pretty short time frame. I truly, truly believe that, that we are really going to see things ramping up. Probably right in Israel, and everything will stem from there. And, you know, this is this whole shooting thing, this whole thing has just got the earmark of Lucifer all over it, as we already went through a little bit of it. But check this out, right? I'm just poking around, and there's an article that came out of the uh, all the exact time of the events, right? From the minutes and seconds he's got it here. And what struck me as odd is all the killing, all the carnage, all the everything took place within these two minutes. The, tw the two, two, two hour, 22nd minute and two hour, 23rd minute. Those were the two full minutes, two, 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 and two, two, three, okay? And you know what else is strange and kind of sick, really, is they already have a wiki on this shooting. Yeah, I know. Body's not even cold, right? But this is what they do. And they, the signature here is like the other day I was talking about London and the 7-7, seven, seven, all that stuff. Well, this has that same signature on it. February 14th, 14, 7, 7. February 2nd month, 2, 1, and 4, 7. Okay? 17 people were killed. Okay? You go back 89 years to the 1929 massacre where 7 were killed. And 8 and 9 are 17, the amount of deaths in this Valentine's massacre. But what's really kind of weird, and I don't like it, oh yeah, don't forget the two, two, three that they gotta, they wanna take from everybody now. That's a seven. So seven, 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 right? Well, get this. This is weird. They put the names of all the, the, the victims, right? Out of these 17 people, seven were 14. Seven were 14. Seven, seven, 14. And, I mean, that's not all. This is just really weird. This is how my mind works, folks. If you take all of the victims and add up all their ages, it adds up to 334, oddly enough. And if you take that number and you break it down into just, uh, you know, uh, simple division, not going into the fractions, and you take the number of victims, 17, and divide it into that, this is really wild. It's 19, the age of the perpetrator. And if you take the same number, 3, 3, 4, and you divide it by 19, the age of the perpetrator, you get 17, the number of victims. You can't do that with too many numbers, you know what I mean? <laughs> Probably very few. And this could go on and on, but the, the overall message to me is this is definitely put together through those dark powers. Nothing but evil behind this. However, there is beautiful messages direct from the Holy Spirit telling us that we have victory through Christ at the cross. And all of those of Jacob who don't know Christ... You are in for some uh, pretty rough times coming up here. I just have to tell you. That's just the way it is. The time of Jacob's trouble is undeniably near. So, seek Jesus. That's all you need to do. And he can show you. You can escape these things, okay? Go read Revelation. <laughs> It'll tell you everything, right? The Nicolaitans. Very interesting. I'll link everything. I just thought that that was wild and you can rejoice because I believe that this is telling us we are very, 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 very near. Very near to everything being revealed. This even connects to the Ark of the Covenant. And I'll try and get back to this and show you that later. Absolutely fascinating. But thought I'd share that with y'all. Have a great weekend. Shabbat Shalom. Peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood 
but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 